this video we're going to put together a power pod that we use in all of our models. We use the same power pod that's used by Flight Test. This way you can fly all their models as well. Can't say enough good things about Flight Test and everything that I've done for this hobby. Go to FlightTest.com. So here's what the finished power pod should look like. All of our kits have a power pod in them, although you only really need one to fly on all your models. I like to poke through the mounting holes. Later, once it's filled it up, it's a little tricky to find them if you don't do it now. You want to fold and break the foam and then remove the little strip that you're not going to need in there. Let's get some hot glue in there. A little goes a long way. I start one inch from the end and I stop one inch from the other end. These are A-style folds, meaning above, so you're going to lay it on its side and on the table and press it down. Same thing for the other side. Now we're ready for the firewall. Lay a good amount of glue on the front of the power pod and then put your wooden firewall right on there. I like to use packaging tape that has reinforced strips. I didn't have any for this video, so it's just clear packing tape. But you start on one side of the power pod, wrap it across the other side of the power pod, you're basically wrapping the entire power pod. I come back and I make a little slit along the firewall, and then I can fold that over inside the firewall. I put packaging tape literally on every surface of this. I decided to wrap this power pod with black duct tape. I wanted it to kind of blend into the front of the fuselage. I really like the way it looks once I put it in the airplane. The more strength, the better, and just keep layering the duct tape or packaging tape until you're satisfied with what you have. Then take an X-Acto knife and trim out the circles. Hopefully your mounting peg is nice and straight. Here's what the front should look like once you mount an engine onto it. This is a nice view behind the firewall. You can see how I ran the speed controller wires through the square hole. I like to install a little bit of Velcro inside of my power pod and then I put another piece on the battery. That way the battery doesn't move around as much in there. I've seen some guys use rubber bands or lots of different ways you can strap your battery down inside your power pod. My dad actually even figured out that you uh, could run the wires outside and around the power pod and mount the power the battery upside down on the bottom of the power pod if you want to get it forward or just for easier use. I thought it was pretty unique. So that's it, pretty much it for Aftim's power pod. It's really the flight test power pod. We just modified it slightly a little bit here and there, but that way you can use everybody's model. So I love those guys. Here's uh, my first power pod I ever built. You can see I used the packaging tape with the reinforced ribbons in there. That one came out really good. That uh, had a lot of use out of it and flew a lot of different models. So these power pods are fun. I've also seen some guys put a little bit of plastic behind the wooden power pod so that, that way screws stay in a little tighter so visit flighttest.com and take a look at their web board there's also a power pod instructional video that they have it's phenomenal fantastic but i just wanted to put together a quick little video on how to use what we give you in our kit so enjoy your planes can't wait to see what you guys put together like us on facebook and feel free to send us videos or pictures